Hello YouTube, it's Vicky Lynn again from Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Bright light city gonna gonna set my soul on fire. Suck on my dick and fucking take me higher. Yeah, this one guy asked me, was I a man or a woman? Guess what I said? Just guess. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Viva Las Vegas is going to be by everywhere. That's all right, baby. That's all right now. That's all right, mama. Any way you want to say that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, shit. I hope I didn't, like, push my weed over. I think I just did. Shh, let's get it. 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 Okay. Sit back down, baby. Where's that little fucking hoe? Well, <clears throat> I haven't choked yet. <coughs> I stopped buying from my regular weed. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I guess it's good weed after all. Oh, you don't choke, it ain't good smoke. Excuse me, cause I'm tight. Nostrovia. Un besito, chicha bella. Vinicua means come here. <laughs> of course, besitos kiss. Chicho Bella is like a small kid. Or Chicho Bella. And we're all Chicho Bella, boy. Just like muchacha. Muchacha. Muchacha was a boy. Muchacha is a girl. I've been in Rosaria Mason many times. Lived over there. Um. <clears throat> That's the story I burnt the house down over there, okay? So anyway, I got pictures of that. It had like, what do you call it? Uh, marble tile all through it, all through it. Staircase, fish tank with like water running down the whole wall with goldfish swimming at the bottom with fake flowers and lights. It was beautiful. I got pictures of that, I'll show it soon. I got some pictures of me naked on the beach over there. And I've been to Long Beach probably 11 times. I had a sugar daddy from Long Island, New York. Jerry, won't mention his last name. Yeah, of course, he's Irish. <laughs> Come from the rich family in Long, Long Island, New York. I guess he gave me back in what? I stopped having a boyfriend in 2011. So 2010 to 2011, I think he gave me like $92,000. Gambled all the time, $500 every time I wanted to gamble. Psh, that was so much fun. And he might have been the ugliest boyfriend I ever had, but he was the most fun. We went dancing. I would dress up in my late nurse costume. And this was back in 2011, so this was like 12 years ago. Hot, hot, very hot. Uh, some of these pictures I'll show you from Mexico, from Rosarita. That was uh, years ago. <coughs> Years ago, too, because I stopped going there, I think, in 2007. But I had won, like, $58,000 in 2005, maybe more. I tipped the bartender $6,000. Uh, there was 28 people there. I gave them $100 a piece. That's 2800 So I gave away $8,800 in one day. And then I got 86 for life because the owner of the place was uh, named Carl. And he was looking at me on the computer at home. And if I knew that, I called the gaming commission when I got out in the parking lot and said, here's my W-2s, I want all this money. And the owner 86 me for life. 
And he said, ma'am, he owns a bar. You could just look at him crooked and he can 86 you. So I've been 86 out of way better places than motherfucking Dottie's, okay? I'm smoking regular weed, uh, liquid weed, is drinking Big Red, but I'm going to go to them shots in a minute. I forgot to say before, I love Crown Royal, too, but I ain't drunk a lot of that. Back in the day, me and my friend would drink the whole fifth, but he drank it mostly because he's a guy and he's an alcoholic. And then, if I drink on empty stomach, I'll just fucking pass out. I'm a lightweight. And then Adam got me on these fireballs. I've tried them for maybe the last year or two. I got fireballs in there now. I'm going to drink that in a minute. So I left out. I like whiskey every now and again, too. But I'm an Indian. When I get on whiskey, I'm going to kill somebody. We don't want to go there. <clears throat> My young and dumb days is over, honey. I'm a little bit more mature now. And I got all these wrinkles, and that's okay, because I'm going to get them fixed one day. And even if I don't, I'll just be, oh, gracefully, like I am now. Okay. Like Lauren Bacall. Hey, Bogey. What's up, Doc? I love me and my husband was downtown watching them uh, do the movie with Kim Basinger and Brad Pitt. It's half of it's cartoon and half of it, uh, some kind of world. Love that. Me and my husband was across the street eating some like 88 cent shrimp. Um, Adam Martinez and I, we were together about eight years. My name is Martinez still because I'm not going back to my other name until I feel like it. Maybe after the book's done. Or before the book's done. When it's close to getting done. Don't forget out there is there any ghost writers that ain't going to eat my ass up and fees to do the ghost writing. Because I had a ghostwriter, Lawrence McNally, but he passed away. I got his son, Jimmy, a job at the conventions with me and Glenn Zimmerman. Not with our company, but with a company we knew. Because we already had enough guys. <clears throat> I sold to the Colombians in California. I went in there, honey, Italian style. I went in there with a pinstripe suit on. And just think, that was 2000. Pinstripe suit on. So that was 22 years ago. Take 22 years off 65, I was still hot as hell. <clears throat> I'm still hot, but I ain't as hot as I used to be, and that's okay. God gave me like a good 40 years or 45, 50 years of being hot, and now that I'm not, I'm okay with that. You know, I don't try to go get bartending jobs and be phony. Like, you know who? No mention the name. Dude, dude, alarm. Nope. She's been evicted, but she must really have a hold on her fucking landlord because, I mean, she's brought hell to his house that she's been there, I'm sure. I don't want to talk about this shit anymore. Anyway, my story is this. <clears throat> I'm going to have the donate button on my channel, hopefully by tonight or tomorrow. Working on it now. I'm on, I've got step two completed because I'm a business owner. Which I'm starting my business back that I ain't had on for years. Um, a merchant, it's MTS. It's Merchant Technical Support. And when I get through to them, that's busy on the weekend, I'll have the uh, donation button on my channel. Yay, I can't wait. Anyway, when I get donated to, I'm not just going to be a YouTube beggar like you know who. I'm going to give away prizes to the one that donates the most, uh, the most or those many times. We'll just have drawings. I'll send you lingerie, shoes, whatever. Ooh, that would look good. They have it like that. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to get this tape before I get the face left and see how it works. I may not try it. You know, anything once. If it don't kill a bitch. <laughs> Anyway, now I have to smoke a cigarette because I'm high on the weed. Can you tell I'm high? That redder my eyes get, that means the higher I'll be. This is liquid weed. My friend gave it to me for Christmas, and it's like 60 bucks. You know, the liquid was full. He even bought the stick to smoke it in, even the charger. He's the one who got mad at me about some shit, but we'll talk about that next time. I said I don't play well with others. <laughs> oh, I sometimes I'm with Vicky Lynn's own little world, like tonight. 
I, <coughs> I asked my friend to go home so I didn't have time alone. <coughs> I love Sherry though. <coughs> She's nothing like the other people I met from there. She's very calm. She's into spiritual stuff. She's into yoga. <coughs> she had my same interest. She's into cooking. She writes poetry. I write poetry. We got a lot of communist friends. I'm glad to have her. I got to say, God bless you. Thank God. God sent me somebody that I like and can be around. Because Scorpio's about heads. We can't be around each other. <coughs> I know when I was like 22 years old before I moved to Vegas, I moved here when my daughter was three and she's 44 now. I met a guy at a bar downtown, Louisville, born the same day as I was, November 5th, same hospital in the same year. We didn't get along. We had great sex, but we didn't get along. You know, so he had come to see me at the gay bar when I'm lip syncing with the gay guys, like, like Victor, Victoria, I am Victoria, okay. So I always went to the gay bars when I was topless dancing because I didn't want no man hitting on me after they're hitting on me all day at work. You know what I mean? You get tired of that shit fucking quick. My cigarettes better be out here. I have to go on the fucking hunt again. Oh, I might have to go on the hunt, but I'm an Indian. I can hunt. I'll get it. Anyway, I don't want to bore you on this thing like, what the fudge? Oh, and this little deal. See the thumb cuffs? Whoop, oh, where's that? See the thumb cuffs? <laughs> These are fun when you're playing around with anybody you like or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband, and it comes on the garter belt. <laughs> I used to wear that shit all the time. Anyway, I got to cut this short. I can't be too long. I got other videos going on. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Share. I love you, girl. You're the best in the West. I was at your show at early age and at MGM. I used to in Vegas. I love you, girl. Share is one of the best of all time.